จังมาเมืองแล้วนี่จะมีดีจะหลายอย่างขมือขมือมีคำทัดพักแซวฮัตตาคำเจริญลำสมเข้าเลยจะเก่าเลื่อละลาขมือมีหุบนาคุกไก่นี่หุบลงจะรอดไม่จะไหนลำจะเลือดสีละลาเจ้า The mountains and fertile river valleys of northern Laos have been harboring a well-kept secret. Here in remote Hua p a n province, even before reaching the villages. One is struck by the impressive talents in handicraft, which are hewn out of nature itself. Chinese literature indicates Lao Thai peoples living along the Yangtze River migrated to Laos from southern Yunnan province in China as early as the year 700 AD. With them, they brought the rich heritage of silk producing, dyeing, and weaving. In rural Laos, especially in the north, the sound of the handloom can be heard from nearly every house in the village. The patterns are always adorned with the motifs of nature: diamonds, flowers, and mythical water dragons or nagas, central to the villagers' deep spiritual beliefs. Two centuries of occupation by the Thai, succeeded by the French, saw the national arts repressed. But the weaving tradition survived, thanks to the fact that the weavers produced for their own consumption. Since opening its doors to the outside world less than a decade ago, Laos is now hoping to reap the rewards of a market economy. But Laos. One of the poorest countries in the world, landlocked and with a weak infrastructure, holds little hope of becoming an Asian tiger like its neighbors. Instead, increasing incomes at the family level by building on solid traditions such as silk production has become a priority.